Hello, I'm Budapest and welcome to episode 7 of my new series with Manchester Central. Thanks for joining me. I always appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. While you're here, smash the like button. If you are brand new, feel free to subscribe. And also, if you hit that notification bell, you'll never miss anything I do. Now, today is a massive episode. It's one of our cup finals and it's the first cup final and it's the Europa League final. Yep, we're playing Monaco today in the Europa League. I can't wait. Now, it's going to be pretty special and I've got a little few things I want to talk about when it comes to this final and Monaco. Um, but before we get into it, we've got a couple of games to review. We have two games left in the Premier League. One against Watford, one against Man United. Did we finish in the top four? Let's find out. Well, in the first game, against Watford, away from home, we lost. Yeah, um, you might know, but going into the end of the season, I started to struggle with fitness, with injuries. Um, obviously, I'm trying to go for two cups, win two cup finals. So I thought this is probably the best chance to take a risk. And I took the risk and it didn't pay off. Um, Striker-wise, struggling. Um, so I ended up playing one up top. And the only striker I played was Bell. Hayford played, Rolls played, Pew played. A lot of the other guys who haven't played as much played. Uh, and they let me down big time. But they're not the best players. The only thing that annoyed me was the amount of chances we had. Yeah. So, pretty much nearly blew it. So when it came to the last game against Manchester United at the Super Dortmund, we had to go for it and we absolutely spanked United. Now don't be fooled, this ain't the original United of this series. The United that won eight league titles, which we're going to look at for a reason. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, yeah, they're not very good. The manager's been sacked as well, so they didn't have a manager. So everything's on the down at United. And as a United fan, I never really want to spank him, but we did. I mean... 5-2, Shelley got two, Nivas scored, Maida got a couple as well, some really good performances, nobody got injured either. So I'm hoping we've got a pretty decent squad going into these last two cup finals. And here we go, we did make it, the uh, defeat to Watford did affect us. We finished in the top four and I'll be honest with you, I think this is freaking awesome. To be able to take over in December when the club were 15th with morale rock bottom um, and take the club into the top four. I think that's just as good an achievement as starting at the beginning of the year and winning a title, I, I think. It's up there. I am really, really proud of this season. I knew it was going to be a challenge, but I think we've done really well. And if anything, it's proven to me as a football manager player that the things I do, the way I play, works. I think it really does. So I'm really chuffed. And I'm even more chuffed that Everton won the league. They won it by five points in the end. City came second. Liverpool came third. And it just makes it more interesting. Look, we had United who won the league the first eight years we played. And then that was my title there. That's Simeone's title. Then City won it. Liverpool have won it. Everton have now won it. Uh, Lee, the Buzzy B, the club mascot, is an Everton fan. I'm sure he's going to be buzzing with that. Um, and they did spend big. They've bought that title. They've got the biggest wage budget. So, you know, they probably were expected to win the league. So, yeah, fair play. Um, player from Liverpool, top goal scorer. We haven't really got anyone on the charts this year. Next year, though, we're going for the league big time. Here's the squad arranged by average rating going into these two cup finals. Um, and we've got a couple of players missing, especially for the Europa League. Uh, Gabba's out for a few days. Foreman's out for a few days. Uh, Maturana, the left back, it's a red injury, but that's only four days. It's a gash leg. Um, so these guys might all be back for the uh, FA Cup final against Liverpool. So we're not looking too bad. We can at least put a team out, I reckon, today against Monaco. And hopefully they turn up. Because if you remember the old series, if you're a long time viewer, you must remember the Champions League final. All right, got some stuff I want to show you. So we're going to Sweden, the land where there's a beautiful girl on every single corner. And we're going to Gothenburg, beautiful picturesque city in Sweden. And we're going to be playing in a fantastic stadium. It looks amazing. And hopefully it's going to be a great venue for the Europa League final tonight. Now, the history coming up to this game. We're playing Monaco. Now, if you remember, right, you might remember the first um, series I did for Central. We finished, or I finished, winning the league and the Champions League. And the team we beat in the Champions League was Monaco. That night in Cardiff, when we beat Monaco in a tough game, 1-0, with an absolute worldie of a goal for me and Moss. He doesn't score many, but when he does, he scores worldies in European Cup finals. Now, 
you might remember also, I thought it was quite a special night because United had won the first eight league titles when we played. And then when I won it, it was brilliant, right? But over in France, Paris Saint-Germain had won the first eight league titles. And then Monaco won it. So it's quite special that we met that in the, in the European final. It was like the champion of champions. We finally got past our big rivals and got to the top because we're quite similar. Monaco are a huge club. They've got a little stadium, they've got a little fan base like we have. Um, but there's some more um, threads to this story, right? So that night, we beat Bobby Cole. Their manager left and he went to Liverpool and he eventually ended up winning Liverpool their first ever Premier League title. Now he's no longer at Liverpool, not long after I came back to Central. He took the Barcelona job, right? Well, who took his job at Monaco? Yep, Jose Mourinho. United sacked him and they've been on a slide ever since. They sacked him because he didn't win his ninth title on the run. I couldn't believe it, but he's been at Monaco since then. So I'm coming up against not only the team I played in my only other European final, Monaco, I'm coming up against Jose Mourinho, the man I battled it out, and possibly the man I got sacked from Manchester United, a guy that used to slate me in the press, one of our old rivals managers. This is going to be tense, but hopefully it's going to be a great game. And hopefully, hopefully, in the land of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, I'm going to get one over on Jose Mourinho one more time. So here we are with Monaco, and there you'll see Jose Mourinho at the top. I mean, fair enough to him. I think he did a fantastic job at United, and the fact that um, they threw him away that year, I thought it was a joke after what he'd done. Eight league titles, he won the European Cups, he won a lot. Um, but fair enough, he's at Monaco, and he's still a cracking manager. Say what you want about him in real life, but his record is pretty good. And look at his stats. He's got better stats than I have. So uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I can get one over on him tonight. Well, this is their squad arranged by value. It looks like their second best player, Brunei, 28 year old Argentinian, looks like he might be injured. Uh, hopefully he don't play. Let's have a look at some of their players. The best player is Ricardo Santa Maria. He's a striker, but he can also play across the attacking midfield area. And he does look very good, doesn't he? 75 million, 300 grand a week, uh, 87 caps, 41 goals for Spain. Got some great skills. It looks like a great striker, it looks like a great player. Now this is their second best player, and it had an orange injury, but you never know what you're gonna to get to actually look at him, and he's actually out for 10 days to three weeks with a hip injury, so he's not gonna play. Another good bit of news is that their third best player, uh, that dude, can't say that name, not a chance, 29 year old Frenchman, he looks pretty classy. His first touch passing the technique on 17, that's pretty good, great physicals. He's suspended. So yeah, Lady Luck might be shining on us. Now here we are with the match preview. Before I say anything, I've just got to say I'm a bit gutted really because I think it's slightly unfair. This final is on a Wednesday night. The FA Cup final's on Saturday. We've only got Thursday, Friday off. And we're going to be playing a fully fit, very good Liverpool team. This is this is a challenge. So do I personally think we can win both cups? Yeah, any, I mean, bloody hell, anything can happen in this game. We'll look at the semi-final against freaking Chelsea but yeah it's going to be tough it in yet again another Europa League Cup final tonight Bood massive congratulations I think everybody had written you off after the first leg of the semi-final uh, but the second leg you came back from a 5-1 deficit to win 6-1 in the second leg 7-6 on aggregate must have been one hell of a team tight you gave to your boys before the game um, well to be fair <laughs> Uh, well, to be fair, mate, it's our first Europa League final. Uh, we've been to the Champions League before when I was manager. Um, it was crazy, really. Basically, we just went all, we went all out. We had a bit of a makeshift team. We knew we were up against it. I mean, massive goal deficit. Not a, I can't lie and say I believe we were going to do it. I didn't think we had a chance. I just wanted us to go out and not get beat. Uh, and to watch my boys go out and play the way they did was yeah special. And I'll, I'll never forget that. I think it'll go down in, in the folklore of football everywhere is possibly one of the greatest comebacks ever it was amazing truly amazing and um, so yeah i just let the tournament go out and just enjoy themselves have some fun and just play like they were kids again and that's what they did and you're up against monaco today uh who have proven their worth in this competition this year do you feel your team's still got enough left in them to win this one last game um, yeah, I mean, Monaco, great team. Um, see a lot of similarities between us. We both punch above our weight in terms of size, the fans, stadium, and stuff. 
um, but they've possibly got one of the greatest managers ever, Jose. Many battles with him when he was at United, and he's done a fantastic job at Monaco. So my boys have always got it in them to win. Um, but I think we've got to be conscious because it's so close to the FA Cup final. It's, it's, a it's a tough couple of days for us. Hopefully, we can come out of it all with two trophies. So yeah, we've got, I think we've got enough. Yeah. Lastly, B, just on a personal note, can I just thank you once again for giving me a reason to divorce that munter of a wife of mine? I've been waiting years to get shot of her. My life has been bliss since she's been gone. Um, also, um, there has been a rumour going around uh, that club sponsor Pornhub uh, are actually in negotiations with yourself uh, about an exclusive rights deal to some sex tape starring you and her. Any truth in that? Seriously, it's all rumours. For one, I never had the affair. That baby looks nothing like me. Right? For two, that porn video, it's a look-alike. My penis is massive. Have you, see, have you seen the penis in that video? Mine's like a freaking, it's like, it's huge. It's like a cucumber, seriously. No, it's not, it's like a marrow. Yeah, not a baby carrot, do you know what I mean? So no, it's not me. You're not in talks with me. I'm sick of Pornhub. Um, serious questions in the future, mate. So here we are in the, is it the Uvelli? Ulelevi? The Something Stadium. Uh, it's a beautiful place in Gothenburg or in Sweden. So yeah, buzzing. Now, I forgot to mention Ian Moss. He's actually suspended. So, you know, we've had to play around, but I, I've got fully, I've got a lot of trust in these players now. Sometimes. Um, so yeah, there's the lads. We've got Shelley and Nivas up front. Uh, obviously, Gano would be playing. We've got Chalky Lammers on the wing, Labras Santa Cruz in the middle. Uh, Robbo's having to play at left back. I've got Janssen's having to play at right back. And um, got my first choice centre arse and O'Donnell in net. Right then, oh, this is what this game's all about, isn't it? That semi final was amazing against Chelsea. Some of the times were amazing. The game's amazing, but it's all about getting to cup finals. And there's nothing worse than losing a cup final. Now, let's have a chat. And I think it's Jose Mourinho, it's Monaco. They're out for revenge, remember? Champions League, Cardiff. Whew. I think I might go for the fans. They're the ones who pay your wages. Go out there and perform for them. Win this one for them. Robo doesn't like it. Tough titty. Come on. Here we go, walking out the tunnel. All the fans are clapping. Look at that. Hey. Come on, Central. Come on, Central. Now, they're kicking off. They're wearing this kit that I think's a bit... I know it's kind of like a grey, but it's a bit clashy, isn't it? But what I want us to do is kind of stamp ourselves on this game early doors. A nice early goal would be beautiful. All right, Monaco, two minutes in and three minutes in there on the ball. Nice little pass, good bit of defending from Colorado. I'm so impressed with this kid. I'm so glad City didn't want him and that we snatched him up. Best 40 million I've ever spent. Lovely pass there though, and O'Donnell was fast asleep. To be honest with you, he might be England's number one, but he is no bloody Gandalf the Grey, seriously. I mean, he just, Sometimes it's like he just starts, I'm encouraging him. It's like he just, Jesus, it's like he just stands there and goes, oh, has it gone in? But yeah, thanks to everyone who's been supporting my series since it come back. I really do appreciate it. I'm chuffed to bits. It's uh, going so well. And we hopefully can win some kind of silverware. If we don't, I can't lie, I'll be devastated. But the good thing is, at least we're in the Champions League guaranteed next year. Ooh, which means we'll have some good European nights. Uh, get some money in at Santa Cruz. You're in completely fit, I'll be honest with you, but I'm struggling. Struggling. I just wish I had your moss. That goal for me, a moss I showed you before. <laughs> hey? What a way to win a Champions League. Could do something like that right now. Oh, come on. What was that then? If I could run into him, didn't really bother. Oh my god, O'Donnell. Hold it. Hold it. On the ball, chalk it, take it. Right into the danger zone. Oh my god. It's a penalty, it's a penalty. Come on! Shelly missed a lot, done not he? He scored his last one. This is just too important to miss, Mark. I thought he missed it then, he hasn't missed it. We're back in this. One, one, one. Can I speak to him? Yeah, we can. We demand, demand more. Let's keep p putting on that pressure, boys. Come on. Here we go, corner. Chalk it, take it. Can we get, no! Oh my God! I'm starting to feel this now. I'm starting to get excited. I'm getting a bit warm. The reason I don't wear my other shirt is it clashes with my green screen. It does me head in. But I keep disappearing. It's so hard to get the settings right. And it's about 400 degrees outside. This jacket is boiling. Here's Matt Shelley. I don't know why I didn't shoot, but he's giving it chalky. Can anyone get onto the end of it? Shelley does. 
I love Mark Shelley. Yeah, apparently there's been a massive rise in Manchester of babies being called Mark Shelley. Yeah, that's a fact. Right, free kit to Monaco, Jose is stressing. I saw him on the sideline a minute ago. He's up and down screaming his head off. Now the reason this video is a bit late, it should have been out at least a day or two before it's going to be out, is because I got suspended from work. Yeah, long story. School kids are wankers. No offence if you're a school kid. Uh, I had a kid get on and abuse me. Didn't want to pay, give me a load of grief. So I kicked him off. Uh, I didn't know the law. It says you can't kick off a school kid. Oh, here goes Monaco. We've got back into it. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, so, but he lied. He said I beat him up, threw him off, and I didn't, hand, I didn't, I didn't touch him. I got his bag, threw it in a bush. So all that got threw out when they looked at the CCTV. Um, but then, obviously, because I'd actually told him to get off, apparently that's against the law. If they're at school, you're not I'm allowed to let, not let them on. When they're in the street, they might get bummed by a paedophile. That's, that's basically what they said to me. So I got a slap on the wrist, a bit of a warning. Um, but I got suspended for two days while I investigated it. Now you, you'd think I could come home and just make content, but I just couldn't get into it. I was, I was just too stressed. But everything's okay now, ish. If we win this, I'll be even better. Here come Monaco again. This is turning into some game, isn't it? So it's half time here in Sweden. Um, we're edging in chances. We're dominating it in the possession. We just need to capitalise on that. But it's half time. Now Santa Cruz wasn't fully fit. He's a great player. He's not playing very well. Now I put Kempf in that bony midfielder role, even though he's a right winger doing that against Chelsea. And we won with that. So I'm going to do it again. Why not? Uh, I'm going to give Kempf the second half in the centre of the park again. Uh, I'm also going to be serious. I'm just going to go get that goal. Make us favourites to win. Let's do this schniz. Only one green from Kempfy. Right, kicking off the second half. Um, Hopefully, don't backfire that. Put a winger in the centre, but he was fantastic. He's an all-round good player, so you can imagine him actually doing that well. I bet you would be brilliant as a right back. Right, Shelley nearly got that trick. Corner ball. Come on, come on. Chalk you right into the middle. No one's going to get it. Kempfy, you can cross it in, mate. Right, Janssens, who's a bit miffed. He wants first team football, even though he's been playing quite a bit. He wants first team football. You're leaving anyway, mate. I think I might go for that young uh, right back I showed you in the last episode. He's got a lot of promise, so I might go for him, to be fair. I don't know yet, I've got loads of targets. This is, my favourite bit is uh, having a good look about. This is some good football for most. Pass it around beautifully. Oh, that deserved a goal at the end. Chalk it, takes it. Have you seen the FM database advert on the board? I got it on my phone. Sh it's shit. I don't get why you'd want it. Come on, lads. 2-2. Two, two. It's, oh, it's a bit of a worry, isn't it? They've got class. They have got absolute class. Hans Solo, some great defending. Bit of old school central long ball. Shelly one on one. I'd put my house on in finishing that. You might have already noticed as well. I've, got, I've been playing attacking from the off. It works against Chelsea. So I just thought, let's just go at him. Yeah, maybe I should have sat back a bit more. But then would we have had our two goals? I don't know. Would we have let in our two goals if I sat back? You just don't know with football there. Okay, I'm bringing Chalky off. Alonso's coming on because he can do a good job. Uh, I'm also bringing Maid on. Okay, Maid made, made a goal. Cross your fingers, guys. Come on, Central, Super Central. You make me happy when times are great. Come on, Kempfe. It's it. <gasps> right, well done, Shelley. Pings it to LeBras. LeBras fires it out to Alonso. Alonso's nice and fresh. Pinpoint pass. Shelley is a donkey. Yeah, while you're here, just in case we win or lose, cheer me up. Hashtag help a dude. Hit the like button. I know you like it because you're watching it. So just hit the like. Don't be shady. Do you know what I mean? Don't throw me some shade. Hit the like. All right, Robbo. Oh, come on, Alonso. Wake up, kid. All right, the brass. Well done, mate. Little back heel to Robbo on the left back. And passes inside to Kempf. Kempf's find. Made a, made a thunder shot. Oh, well done. We're putting the pressure on here. I like it. The brass to Kempf. Kempf dives. What are you doing, Kempf? Bogger. Look at him getting back, though. Wow, that was amazing. Don't let him score from it, though. Do you see Kempf get back then? Come on, FM gods. Come on, FM gods. I'm not religious. I don't believe in fantasy and myth. Um, but I believe in the FM gods. Sometimes. We've just not been able to finish. This isn't, we need Ghana. Or Ian Moss. The difference makers. Right, the brass to Kempf. Come on. Maida's going to pick this up. I could do with Maida in the box. 
That's what I mean. Shit. Get back, boys. Get back. Get on him. Get on him. Get on him. Get on him. What a tackle. Risky. But what a tackle that is. Maida charging forward. Oh, come on. Bit of magic from Maida in his mohawk. Oh, my God. Come on, Kemp to the brass. Edge of box. Here's Alonso. Alonso shoots. Side netting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. Shelly on the ball. Give it to Kemp. Kemp trying to thread it through and Maida, but he couldn't do it. And now he's Monaco. Shit, Gerard. This is too much. This is too hard. Right. Overload. Push forward. Oh, man. I can't believe That clock's going. Right, Janssen. This is, this is it. This has got to be it. Oh, my God. This is going to be it. Full time. Looks like we're going to be beaten 3 2 by Monaco. And we have done. The European dream is over. Jose Mourinho is a full on wanker. Right? Uh, I can't say I'm happy about it. I'm not. So I'm going to be angry. And I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. Because I know I'll say that and we'll get a load of green. And hopefully, hopefully, we can go and at least freaking win a cup. The FA Cup against them dirty bastard scousers. So, yep, yeah, we've lost. Apologies if you've invested in this series and you were hoping to see us lift the trophy in today's episode. I was hoping to see us lift the trophy. Trust me, I always try my best, but you can't win everything. Um, look, I am, I am freaking, I am gutted. Trust me. Yeah, it really affects me when I lose a cup final. Hopefully, I can bounce back. Hey, hopefully, of course, we can. We're going to bounce back. We're Manchester Central. We want to finish this season on the high. At least we're in the Champions League next year. At least, that, well, at least this wasn't our only avenue into the Champions League, was it? Eh? So, yep. Next episode, we're going to be playing Liverpool in the FA Cup final. Uh, it's only two days away in game. Uh, but also in this epi that episode, we're going to look at all the end of season stuff. So, like commercial revenue, awards, all that good stuff. Might even show you some of the other guys I'm, I'm going to try and sign. Um, but yeah, Liverpool, obviously, they've got the manager they had when I came back. He's now at Barcelona. Um, they've now got Nuno, Esposito, Santo, who's pretty good. I mean, the guy was the manager when they beat me in the league, 1-0. So there we go, that is the end of episode 7. Massive apologies. I'm sorry I've lost. Honestly, I feel gutted. Honestly, I feel gutted for you because I know people get invested in it and you maybe were looking forward to it and you want to see us, be, you want to see us win. Um, just can't, you can't win everything, can you? I try, and a lot of the time I do well, don't I? So, you know, you just got to take it on the chin and I've got to try and get my confidence back for that FA Cup final. And I need to maybe have a good think about the team I've put out there, really. So, yeah, even though we lost, hopefully you still enjoyed it enough to smash the like button. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> We're not always a bunch of losers. Also, make sure you hit that bell. You'll never miss anything. Plus, go and check out the club shop for Manchester Central. Seriously, top quality stuff. It's really cheap. I don't get a penny of it. It all goes to the club. And you could really help out a great, fantastic non league team. Right then, <sighs> hopefully, I'm going to see you for the FA Cup final. I've been booed, you've been great as always. See you next time.